In this video, we are going to be solving one-step equations involving multiplication and division of decimals. Let's drive right into these problems. One thing to mention, a calculator is definitely recommended for some of these problems. You don't want to get weighed down by a lot of extra side work math when the real objective of these problems is solving the equation. So the number one rule when solving equations is isolating those variables by undoing the order of operations. We know that. And just because there are decimals present doesn't change any of the process we're doing. So that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Looking at A, we've got a number 0.7 times x equals negative, points, or negative 6.3. Don't worry about the fact that it's a decimal. You are multiplying by 0.7 by the variable, so you need to undo the multiplication by dividing. That's all we're focused on. So we undo by dividing by 0.7 on both sides to maintain equality. Once we've divided by 0.7, we notice that we've isolated x. That's our goal, so we've accomplished that. Now our focus shifts to this side. A lot of people get scared off by that, and then they kind of freeze. Keep your objective in mind, it's to isolate x, we've done that, and then focus on the result. Negative 6.3 divided by 0.7, a little bit of mental math is actually like doing 63 divided by 7, and it's negative, so negative 9. So wheat, and that's our answer. You could also use a calculator or, man, you could do long division if you wanted to. Letter B, definitely a calculator problem, but don't be scared off by the decimals. We are dividing T by 3.78 to get a number, 2.9. To undo division by 3.78, we multiply by 3.78. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by 3.78. And then what I do to one side, I've gotta to do to the other. I recognize these are gross numbers, but your goal is to isolate T, which we have done. And now we shift our focus over to the right-hand side and multiply 2.9 by 3.78, and you'll get approximately, or actually exactly, 10.962. I didn't do that mentally. I used the calculator for that and have the number somewhere off to the side where you can't see it. Tricky. All right, so use your calculator for this one for sure. Now, we were asked to round our answers to the nearest hundredth. So in this problem, since this number in the thousandth place is a two, we would round down to 10.96. And that, my friends, is your answer right there. Okay, over to this side. Negative five is equal to a over negative 3.7. Okay, so that's pretty gross the way it's written, but we can totally handle it. We're going to multiply both sides by negative 3.7 to undo the division by 3.7. So I multiply both sides to undo the division by negative 3.7. When I do that, again, I'm focused only on isolating. Don't worry about this side yet, just isolate A. That is your sole goal. We've accomplished it. Now we focus on five times 3.7. We know it's gonna be a positive number, that's why I'm looking at it as just a negative times a negative is a positive. You can do it in your calculator, you might be able to do it mentally, and you get 18.5. To do it mentally, I'm looking at it as five times three plus five times 0.7 which is 15 plus another 3.5. It's how you would do it with mental math. Again, don't be ashamed to use the calculator. Then this problem is just gnarly in terms of the types of numbers, but you can rock this with no problem at all. You've got multiplication by 1.29, so we undo that by dividing by 1.29 on both sides. Our goal is to isolate x. Let's verify that we've done that. We have, they divide out to give us one, times x is x. Now, definitely use a calculator. 6.4 divided by 1.29 is not so sweet. I'm gonna take a quick look into my calculation and what I did for that, and I got 4.961. Actually, I got a much longer decimal than that, as you will too in your calculator, but I rounded to the nearest, well, I just chopped it off to the thousandth place. And then of course, we're rounding that to the nearest hundredth, so that would just be 4.96. And that's all these problems wrote, folks. Don't be scared off by the fact that we have decimals. You're still doing the same operations as you've always done to solve these equations. To check your answers, uh, we can do, I guess we'll do one check. We could take this one, letter A. We plug negative nine into the original equation, so that was 0.7 times an unknown amount x. Is it equal to negative 6.3? So you take negative nine and plug it in, and negative nine times 0.7, guess what it is, folks? Negative 6.3. 
So even the check is the same as what we've done in the past. Decimals, you got this.